Oh yeah. Got to get into some cosmology. And the cosmology, this is the Earth, this is the Moon, this is the Sun, and this is the superposition. Hyperspace, view trekkers, spirit, the spiritualists, the infinite. So there, we have the Earth. Remember, we've got this dark energy, this prana, this life energy flowing through everything at great intensity, you know, amazing and, and strong. This is the difficult thing to understand. You know, look at how fast the Earth is traveling. You know, 100,000 kilometers in an hour, a million miles in 15 hours. Look how fast the sun is traveling in beyond that. You know, look how fast the earth is spinning, at, you know, a thousand miles an hour at the, at the equator, a thousand miles an hour. Look how easy it is to spin out, you know, when you slightly lose your balance or something slips, you know what I mean? Or, you know, if you get a bit dizzy spinning round. But the intensity of the energies upon us is unbelievable, it's so strong that we take it for granted. So powerful that we ignore it. We think that it's not there. And this is, the, is like the flow of the dark energy. It's so powerful that we take it for granted. The dark energy. The unborn. The uncreated that flows through it. So everything comes from dark energy and everything returns to it. In the Prajna Upanishad, it says, to his eye prana divided myself fourfold. That hold the body, you know, the body together, the body and the mind and the senses hold them together. It is I, prana, divided myself fourfold into I, I, E and Phi, the real transcendental numbers, the inescapable reality of those numbers from which our whole minds and projection of minds created. And that energy is so powerful with those movements and that flow of the, the prana that there we have over billions of years the earth spinning round at a thousand miles an hour that life has evolved, that structures have learned to live in harmony with. The earth spinning round once a day, which is the second hand on the clock. There's the moon going round once a month from full moon to a new moon on a monthly cycle of energy. See, a daily cycle of energy you know, where we sleep and eat a very you know, inescapable, overwhelming power of energy that makes us wake up and go to sleep and eat. Then there's the moon cycle, the new moon and the full moons, the oscillation from being at home to going out, you know, hunting at the full moon, back to beginning again at the new moon, this cycle. And then there's the cycle of the year, from the sun, this is the sun, the cycle of the year, you know, through all the seasons, winter and summer, you know, the ups and downs of this oscillation, because this is the quantum level of that oscillation, that photon quantum level then generates the wave level, the waveform which then generates the gravity. 